Pulse 80 is coming and it does look like it's going to be a good squonk device, a fully regulated squonk. Now, as a fan of and a user of the Pulse kit as it is, I'm really looking to see what this device has, what it what it's going to work like, how it's going to be when it comes out. At the moment, there's no prices listed for this. Some prices have been listed, but it's not fully released. But there is a bit of information that's out there on this, so we can get an idea of what's coming. Uh, now, I'm going to have a look at Manly Vape's own website here and take you through what they've got on the site, and we'll have a look and see what they're saying. Just on Vandy Bape's website here, and we can see on the first section uh, what the device looks like. There's the options on colors. It's an 80, reg 80 watt regulated device with adjustable wattage and all the useful info there. In the next section, it's going to show us the color options. So there's six colors currently available. That seaweed green is appealing to me, along with that Aurora rainbow. Uh, I really don't know. I am liking these resin colors that are on there. These panels are changeable, so whether there are more coming after the release, we don't know yet. But it does look very funky. It does look very good there. If we have a look further down, they've got this leak proof 510 connector. Now it looks like they added in some O rings there to stop any leakage coming through the 510. Uh, does look quite funky. Uh, looks like it's going to work. So it's showing us that the Device is going to be 2700 compatible and 18650 compatible with the sleeve, the same as the current pulse that does both kinds of batteries as well. So if we scroll down, we'll see that the front and back panels do come off and they're held in place by strip magnets as opposed to the dot magnets that were being used on the pulse. These panels do look like they're going to be a bit heavier than the current plastic panels on the pulse. So it's coming with a new design of the 8mm Squonk bottle, which looks a lot more sturdy from, from that design. And you've also got a 30mm refill bottle. Now, if you're not aware of these bottles, these are bottles that will screw into the 510, and you can fill your Squonk bottle up through the 510 pin. It saves on any spillage. They're quite useful little things, so it's good that they're including one of those. Uh, there's a lot of safety features on this device because it is a regulated device with the gene tip chip. It's going to have overheat, overcurrent, open circuit, short circuit, overtime. So it's got all the protections in there that you want, all those nice little safety features. And then we've got our multiple different modes. So you've got power mode, voltage, adjustable voltage mode. You've got uh, temp all your temperature control modes there. And the all those nice little features it's adding in. And now we just get a, a sort of size idea. So that's in someone's hand. Obviously, we don't know the size of the hand, but it does look good there. And there's a sort of layout of the device. You've got the front there, you've got your panels off, and there's a squonk bottle installed, and you can see where the battery goes. Also shows the 18650 adapter and the 30mm refill bottle. And here's a look at our dimensions on the device. It is slightly larger than the Pulse, but that's to be expected. Uh, a little bit taller, a little bit longer, a little bit wider, but... It looks pretty good, and there's our sort of limitations on the wattage and resistance. Uh, so what you get in the kit, it's saying that you get the mod, you get in the squonk bottle, you get in the USB cable, and all the useful bits. And there's some nice pictures that Vandy Vape have put on of the device. It does look very nice there. Uh, I'm not sure if the back panel is going to match the front panel, but from this, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, you would expect it to, but it does look good with all of those. So there we go. That was from Vandy Vape's own website. I will put a link in the description for that site, so you can go have a look yourself. Might get updated with more information as time progresses. But what do we know so far? So the Pulse 80 is going to be a 80 watt regulated device. Uh, range on that is 5 watts to 80 watts. You got the gene chip in there, so that's giving you all those safety features that, that I like. You know I like my safety features. Uh, so you've got circuit protection, short circuit protection, uh, over the clock protection. So you've got all those standard safety features for regulated devices that you get in these days. You've got all your mode options in there. So you've got your wattage, you've got your voltage, you've got all your different temp modes in there. So you've got all your options that you're going to want on, on a Squonk device. Uh, some nice additional features that put in this. Well, you've got your color options on the covers. Those uh, resin covers look really, really nice. 
Uh, I'm torn between which one I would really want. Uh, there are rumours that there will be more covers coming out later on after launch, so there might be some other options available, and uh, they do look really good. Uh, the addition in there of the refill bottle, uh, that's a really nice addition to put in the kit. If you've not used these before, when you've got your squonk device and you're filling up your squonk bottle, you got to take it out, you got to unscrew it, and then you got to screw it back in. And nine times out of ten, you're going to get a bit of leakage from the bottle just because of the pressure. And when you're trying to get it positioned, you end up squeezing the bottle and it squonks, so you do get some leakage. What this uh, refill bottle is, is essentially it's a larger bottle. And instead of having a pourer on the top, it's got a 510 connector. So what you do is you take your RDA off, you connect it up to the to the device, and you basically do a reverse squonk. So you, you squonk the air out, and it pulls the juice back from the refill bottle. So it makes it a lot easier, a lot cleaner to actually refill a squonk bottle. So it's nice that they're actually including that in with the packaging here. Uh, so it's also a nice look of the redesign on the squonk bottle. I'm hoping they keep the same silicon that they've got on the pulse here because it's a really nice squonk bottle that they've got already so I'm hoping there's not uh, too much change to the materials being used but it does look really good uh, things that we don't know yet so one thing we definitely don't know is the price there are rumors on price uh, rumors are kicking around the 60 pound mark for the device now whether that's a full kit or whether that's just for the mod it doesn't say uh, whether there's a full kit coming out with the RDA as well, uh, a lot of places are not saying that either. Mostly it's just the kit that's available, So, and that even then it's available only as pre-order. So I'm hoping that there will be a full kit with an RDA. I personally don't need one, but I reckon there should be one available. Uh, and if it is, that would be the version that I would get anyway, as I'd want to do a direct comparison between the two, and I'd need the two RDAs to do that. Uh, other than that, we're pretty much waiting. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long before there's an actual launch of this. It was meant to come out at the end of February. It went out in the middle of March. So we're still waiting on a final release date on this and prices and so on. But I'm definitely in the queue to get one of these. I want one pretty badly to, and just because of how good this device has been. So until then, I'm going to crack on and carry on vaping on my pulse. Uh, make the most of it while I've got it. And that's it. That's it for this sneak peek look ahead at what is coming. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, any vague questions in the comments below. If you find any more information on the Pulse 80 that I've not included, put it in the comments. I'll have a look and I'll address them. Uh, I do different videos on my channel here. I do videos on vape reviews. I do vape news. I do vape questions, and I do a daily vlog. It's not all vape on the daily vlog, but there is a, a lot of vape talk that goes on. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. That's at one purple mongoose. That's at the number one purple mongoose. And for now, vape on.